Hi and welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In the previous tutorial we looked at how to make the player or the character move left and right using keyboard input and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to make the um, player jump in the game. Okay so um, what we'll do first is we'll go back to the code and we're using the same code from the previous tutorial. We've got a player controller script which is attached to this uh, ball sprite here. So I've got that script attached there. And in this script we have three variables. We have speed, movement and rigid body. Speed is set to 5, movement initially is set to 0 and then rigid body is just there. Um, in the start method we get the rigid body comp 2D component and um, then basically we also get movement in the update method. So we find out what the movement is, whether the um, player is pressing left or right um, or the A and D keys and then we check if movement is greater than zero so in other words if movement is um, a positive number on the X axis so we've got positive movement then we'll make the player move right um, on the X axis and if movement is less than zero so it's a negative value then we want to move them left on the X axis so um, negative on the X axis so left movement is applied. And then we also have an else condition here. Um, so basically if no key is being pressed so there's no movement then um, x um, velocity is set to zero. Okay but what we need to do now is we need to say well what happens when we jump. So what we'll do is we'll create a new variable. So we've already got one for speed. We want a separate variable for jump speed um, because the speed at which we jump should be different to the speed at which we can move left and right. So we'll make this a public variable as well so that we can just change it in the Unity editor if we want to. So say public float jump speed equals, and we'll just set that to five, it's a float, so um, we'll add an F on there. We'll set it to five at the moment so it's the same as just a normal left and right speed. And then we can go and change that in a moment in the Unity Editor. Then what we'll do in the update method is we'll add a new if statement. So we'll say if input dot get button down. Okay, so rather than hit what we did before, we said um, we ch we checked um, what the movement was, what the movement value was, um, which is stored here in this movement variable and we did that by getting the horizontal axis from the input manager. So let's go back to Unity, we'll go to edit, we'll go to project settings and input to go back to the input manager and before we were using the horizontal axis on the input manager which has the left and right and A and D keys there for left and right movement on the horizontal axis. We're not actually going to use the vertical axis um, from the input manager for jumping because we've already got something here called jump which has everything we need for jumping. So rather than saying um, get access vertical what we're going to do is use um, jump and we're only going to allow the player to jump when the button, the, the button that's associated for jumping is held down. So when you actually go here to the code, what I'll do is I'll just backspace there and type that in again. So if input dot get button, when you start typing that, you get a whole heap of options here. So get button for when it's um, pressed, get button down, and get button up. So get button down is when the button's being um, pressed down, okay? And get button up is when the buttons are released up. So what we want is get button down. We want to know when the button's being pressed down. And then in brackets and quote, we want to know when the buttons for the jump um, axis, for when jump in the input manager is um, being pressed. So the buttons associated with jump, which were, um, which was the space button. If we go back to Unity, have a look at jump. It's the space button there associated with jumping. Okay, so what this is basically saying is we're checking if the button for jumping is being pressed down and the button for jumping is space. So if the space bar is being pressed, 
we can add our curly brackets here for this if statement. What we want to do is say rigid body dot velocity. So similar to what we did before for left and right movement, say rigid body dot velocity equals new vector two. And um, we're working here with two values, one for X and one for Y. Um, but this is for jumping. So we don't really want anything to happen on the X axis. We want the movement on the X axis to be equal to whatever it already is. So we can say rigid body dot velocity dot X, and it will just use the existing velocity on the X axis. And then comma, and for the Y axis, we want that to be, we want velocity to be equal to jump speed. Okay, and then we can just close that bracket and end that line with a semicolon. And um, that's pretty much it. One little thing that I've, I've made a mistake here, you can see that this curly bracket is underlined in red, and that's because here I've opened a bracket for um, jump here, I've opened a bracket there and I've closed it, but I haven't closed the bracket that was open down here. So I just need to add an extra closing bracket there and that's fixed, okay? So a little problem there that just notice it's fixed. So save that code, go to Unity, and we can run this. Now I can move left and right. So I'll just move right and move left. And now if I press space, I can jump. If I hold down space, I can jump. So, so what I could do is maybe try and jump over this bomb. But as you can see, I wasn't able to completely jump over it when I was holding the button down and I actually hit the bomb. So I don't think we have enough jump speed here. So what we could do is we could go to the sprite and we can go to the code and we've set the jump speed in the code to be equal to five. And we could go back into the code and we could edit that, edit that if we want to. But because we made it a public variable, we can actually override that value and change it here. So maybe I could change jump speed to 10 and run it again. And now I can try to jump over that bomb, hold down space. And yeah, I can jump right over it. So maybe that's a bit too much. I might actually set it to eight. Okay, so just so you know, that's the value of having public variables in Unity is that you can go and access them in the Unity um, editor and just change the values right there instead of having to go back to Mono Develop and go and find the variable in your code and change it there. Okay, so it's a lot easier doing that in the Unity editor. I might just change it here anyway, because that's the speed that I, I want from now on whenever I use this script for jumping. Because um, I think I think eight is probably about the right speed. Okay, let's go and test that. Yeah, so we can jump over that bomb, but we're not jumping too high. So eight's a good number. Um, so always just remember that whatever you enter inside these boxes here, will override what's it, whatever is in your code. So if you go back and change values in your code for these variables, it will still be what you've typed in here. This will override it. So if I go back and change this to 20 and save it and go back to Unity, okay, code's just compiled, it's still set to eight. So it will always override whatever's in your code. Just be aware of that if you're changing the values of variables in your code in their public variables. Um, if you change those variables here in the Unity Editor, that's what those values will be. Anyway, so that's basic um, jumping in Unity, but you might notice a problem. So at the moment, if I just go and hold down space, I'm able to jump. If I just tap it, I can jump as well. But what happens if I keep pressing space? Well, it just keeps jumping. So if I keep tapping space, it keeps jumping. All right, and that's a problem. So what we'll look at in the next tutorial is how to only make the player, or only allow the player to jump if they're touching the ground. But that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.